If you want a safe and effective way to do some builds, this might be for you. The 521 tab from Geek Vape. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the Vapor Chronicles. We are back yet again, this time with a little bit of a hardware review. Uh, this is sort of a, uh, a tool, a Vapor's tool. If anyone's familiar with the Coilmaster 521 tab, um, I reviewed that a little while ago on my channel and I use it all the time. Geek Vape, who are the creators of the Griffin tank, they also make a, a bunch of other tanks and uh, they have some Clapton wires, some all different types of wires. They're an up, up and comer, in, at least in my world, because I've never heard of them before recently. They have this affordable, the lowest price point build station that I've seen yet. And it's called the 521 tab, Geek Vape 521 tab. And it's available for $25 on everson.com. This was sent to me for free for the purpose of this review from everson.com. And uh, I'm going to give it a little bit of a showcase. It's not really a review because it's not really a vaping device. Uh, I'll give you the pros and cons, things I like, things I don't like, its availability. Uh, but let's dive in. Let's take a closer look. Let me introduce you to it, and then we'll come back out. We're not going to take it for a vape, even though we probably could, um, and I'll let you know what I think. All right, let's dive in. Okay, so here is the outside of the box for the 521 tab from Geek Vape. That's all you get in the box. So let's run down some features and specs. The Geek Vape 521 tab is the first 521 tab with the highest performance to cost ratio. This device was designed to increase the degree of safety and avoid building a dangerous coil for the mind you're using. Specifications are size 93.6 millimeters by 75.4 millimeters by 24.7 millimeters. Resistance measuring range is 0.01 to 9.9 ohms. Lowest resistance rate for firing is 0.1, and the connection is 510 with a spring-loaded 510. It utilizes a single 18650 3.7 volt battery, which is not included, and that is removable, and you just basically take it out and put it in. Now, it does have an on and off switch, a fire button, and an ohm reader, and there are some safety protections built in. You have reverse battery protection, low voltage protection, short circuit protection, breaker protection, low resistance protection, and high temperature protection. This is available right now for pre-order. It should be available very, very soon. It's $25 right now at www.everzon.com, E-V-E-R-Z-O-N.com. And I have a link below if you're interested. So you can pre-order it. They'll ship it out as soon as they get it in stock. Now, the only real issues that I have with this that you can see here, and we're gonna take an up close look. There's no way to charge this device. So you're gonna to have to have a battery charger for your 18650 battery. Uh, on the bottom here, you can see measuring range. You can also see geekvape.com and your lowest resistance. There's also rubber pads on the bottom here so it doesn't slip around on your table, nice and stable. Um, you'll notice there's little tabs cut out on the side here. Let's zoom in. See that little part right there and right there. You can just grab a hold of this and this bottom comes off. It's just a thin little piece of plexiglass. There's two magnets, one, two, and then there's magnets here and here, all right? So on the inside where your battery compartment is, real clean, gives you some information, 521 tab, and you have this little battery removal ribbon, and you grab your 18650 battery. Positive side up, you can see there's a little logo in there for which way to put your battery in. Pop it in, take your cover, pop it back on, line it up, and it's nice and stable once it's in. Flip it over, and then there's your 510. It is spring-loaded, and uh, it's been pretty, you know, it, it's been consistent. I mean, if I put this Stro Mini with a build on here, so I just screw it on. And I say I want to check the resistance of my build. Pull the switch down. You'll notice that it says fire and ohm reader. So you go down for ohm reader. And you can see this little readout. It's 0.22 ohms. And if I want to fire, go there. And there's a little button right here. And you just press and then it'll start to fire. 
So whether you're doing a build and you're trying to get rid of hot spots, whether you're reading resistance, whether you're cleaning your coils, whatever the reason is, this would be good for doing that. Now, some things that I didn't like, um, I wish it had the ability to read your battery, um, th the battery life you have left in the battery that's actually in this device. I don't know what the battery life is. Now, I know it has safety protection, so like, for instance, low voltage protection or something like that, but it doesn't say how much battery life is left, all right? But besides that, I mean, it has all the features that I would use. You can turn it off when you're done, so you're not going to waste the battery and uh, firing it works pretty good. But depending on the build, it's gonna ramp up slow. Like if you put some Clapton's on here like these, uh, it's reading 0.22 ohms and I have some uh, dual Clapton's in here. And you know, something like this, <clears throat> it's gonna take a while to ramp up. If I hit fire, it does read your resistance when you're firing, but it's gonna build up uh, pretty, pretty slow. Now the good news is that as it's building up, it's actually probably better for your for the metal that you're using, um, and it does have a timeout, so you might have to pulse it a couple times. So you can see they're starting to glow. So it can get them hot enough; it just takes a while. All right, so there you go. So there's the Geek Vape five two one tab couple things of information on the front and you know just a real clean appearance now with this beautiful finish that it has on here on the the top and the bottom um, you know it's a fingerprint magnet so you're, if you get juice on there you know it's, it could scratch you know it's it's shiny pretty but yet it's gonna be a fingerprint magnet but for a price of 25 bucks it's the cheapest uh, to build the station that I've seen yet it does have some less features than others, but it is the cheapest. So depending on what your needs are, you might want to take a look at it. All right, let's zoom back out. So there you go, the up close of the 521 tab. Um, you know, it's effective. Sometimes though, with these, these single 18650, build stations, they don't have enough power with one battery to give me a fast enough ramp up for my lack of patience for doing builds. Um, like if I do a dual coil build like I have in the Griffin, um, I need something like a DNA 200 or a more powerful device to get those coils glowing quicker. I'm just impatient. But for most of my builds, that station works perfectly fine. A little easy to get, you know, fingerprints on it. It doesn't have a battery level reader on it, so I don't know what how long the battery lasts in that thing. I, I usually take my batteries out of devices after I use them anyway. Um, but for 25 bucks, it's stylish, it's easy to read, it's easy to operate, and it's another option for you vapors out there that are looking to get a device like this. Um, and the quality seems really good. All right, let's try this Griffin, and uh, you saw the review already. The best tank I vaped ever. It's that simple. The Griffin. Awesome, awesome RTA. If you haven't checked out the review, check it out. Geek Vape, up and coming, awesome company. I'm loving their products, and I'm sure they have a lot more where this came from. So thanks for watching the Vapor Chronicles. Links below if you're interested to pick this up. It would make a great stocking stuffer. And thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye. I hope you get to spend time with your family and friends and those that you love. I hope the vape mail is delivered on time with exactly what you ordered. And I really want to tell you from the bottom of my heart, thank you for all of your love and support. If you're new to my channel and you love to vape, this is where you want to be. Happy holidays, everybody. I'll see you real soon.